Hey, what's up you guys? Shardens Prime here doing another Transformers action figure review. This is a look at two different figures, one that came out a while ago and one that just recently hit the shelves. We're looking at the Target exclusive Ironhide and Ratchet from the 86 Transformers movie. I've had the Ironhide sitting around. I've just had it sitting around unopened because I've really loved my Frecky Ironhide custom, but I'll compare that custom with this figure and i'm excited to open up this new ratchet as well all right we're gonna look at these figures but first we gotta hit that theme song Packaging is fairly similar between the two of them. Uh, I'm not liking these logos right over here. Uh, that frustrates me, but the packaging is fairly similar. I love the artwork right there. It has 86 written on the sides as well. You can see both characters, Voyager class figures. And yeah, as always, almost always, they share the same body molds. I guess not the 2007 movie, of course. Whoa, whoa, why does this say 26 steps and this one's 25 steps? Is that last extra step these missiles up on top? I don't know. Get little mini read-ups over here. Uh, Decepticon shuttle ambush and Decepticon shuttle ambush ambush for both of them and then on the side right over here you can see the cutout for the 86 you see each character right there it says transformers the movie on the top not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack these things open if you're trying to get your transformers you can do so big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below <laughs> And here's Ironhide and Ratchet out of the packaging in their alt modes, and they look really good. I really like how compact these are. Now, for some reason, I do see a little bit more color variation with the red tones on Ironhide than I am seeing with the white tones on Ratchet. We'll get into that more, but I gotta say, I'm really liking how these are looking from over here, but let's get a closer look at each of the figures. So this Ironhide came out a while ago. We'll start with Ironhide first. I do think there's a little bit too much silver right here in the front. I wish these headlights were painted a different color or the fog lights painted a different color just to break up all this silver. It just looks like a huge bunch of silver in the very front over here. I like the tiny little Autobot logo. And I love that you can see the back of Ironhide's head right there through this nice translucent blue plastic. I love the translucent blue plastic for the windows. And then you can see on the side right here, we do have this hinge that does stick out. I love the storage right over here for the guns. That's very cool. I like it. Uh, over having the storage up here up top, you can see that's not totally squozing in perfectly. Anyway, you can see how the plastic color changes a little bit over here. And I don't know exactly what kind of plastic that are. It's like, it, it feels like ABS right here and here, but it appears to be a different type of plastic, slightly different shade of red over there. On the back, uh, you have the silver bumper. You know, I wish they'd painted this blue, so at least we got a blue windshield in the back. Even though it's not gonna be translucent blue to match the rest, I still would've liked it painted. But, you know, I like the silver hubcaps over here, and it's a pretty good looking figure. It's broken up a little bit with these hinges, but I do like it. And then you have these ports right here where you could go ahead and put the guns on the very top if you wish, which I am not the biggest fan of uh, storing weapons on the top of the vehicles. I had mentioned that to the Hasbro team. And yeah, I just don't like that as much as I like the guns being stored underneath. But to get a close look at these, and they do have the same guns, you can see that we get a nice bright silver over there. And Ratchet looks pretty good too. Again, a little bit much on the silver in the front. I might paint these headlights yellow or something. Again, nice crisp Autobot symbol, and then you can see right here we have the head of Ratchet underneath, very G1-esque. Again, liking the translucent blue, and the white just looks a lot more consistent. Maybe it's just due to the natural color, but we'll see over time if that fades or turns yellowish or anything like that. A little bit I don't know, uneven as far as this, you know, being a straight line, right? It's a little bit bumpy. Maybe that's my fault. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, looking on the back, I do wish there was more color back here. They could have at least made this silver like they did on Ironhide. 
added some blue right there. So I don't like that the back of the vehicle is fairly empty. You can see that translucent blue seeping through some parts right over here. So it does break this up, but overall I'm liking how it looks. And then of course we have the added siren right here on the very top. Initially I thought this was just one long piece, but it's two different pieces that port on there. I'm gonna keep that on there. I prefer having that. And of course we get the same weapon storage with the guns underneath right here. Same guns as what we'd seen with Ironhide. Oh my goodness. And you could store the guns in the front too. I didn't I just realize that right now. That's kind of neat. Kind of cool. Does it still roll like this? Hey, it does. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pew, 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 right there. All right, that's pretty neat. Now to measure out ratchet, you know that they're the same length. Of course, they're about five inches across and then you could see just about two and a half inches tall almost. Then for some size comparisons, you can see we have the Buzzworthy Cliff Jumper. I think this is the Buzzworthy Cliff Jumper right here. And then we have the War for Cybertron Trilogy Optimus Prime. If they did an 86 Optimus Prime, I'm assuming they would reuse this figure, right? Uh, but you can see Optimus is just a little bit taller, a little bit longer than Ratchet over there. And of course, uh, you can see how small Cliff Jumper looks. Do these scale to you? What do you think? Should Prime be a little bit bigger next to this Ratchet? Let me know what you think. I think they are okay maybe you should be a little bit bigger i don't know so while these alt modes look great i really want to see them in their robot modes but i'm gonna get some help from bumblebee so will you take away bumblebee and here's ratchet and ironhide in their robot modes and i really like these robot modes a lot they are very very clean they're not on the rotating base but you can see that back right over there anyway let's get a closer look at each of them i will start with ironhide again <laughs> So I really think both of these figures look really good, man. I love this head sculpt. I love that bright silver paint. The eyes look really clean over here. And I love how we have the mohawk sculpted right over there. The crest, the detailed line work in here looks great. You have pegs right over here where you can store weapons. And then we get some nice lines throughout and a lawnmower. Feels like it's like right next to me. But anyway, uh, you probably can't even hear it. You can see some lines sculpted in the joint right there. Forearms look pretty good. And we have that gray plastic for the hands. Get the panel right over here for the crotch area. Okay, you're definitely hearing it now, right? You, you totally hear that? But yeah, I like how they added all this detail right here and it works out really well, especially with the articulation. So I think that's pretty sweet. I am not the biggest fan uh, with the way this wraps around on the side. That does frustrate me a little bit. I feel like this should tab in and it's just not really tabbed into anything. Maybe I'm missing it. I am missing it. There's a little slot right here that this little piece is supposed to go into. So if I do that properly, nope, see, it just wants to fly right out. See that? Pops right out. So I may have done something wrong. Uh, to be frank with you guys, I never looked at the directions for transforming these figures. So, um, <laughs> which is, I guess, one reason why we didn't go through the transformation sequence um, but that was also a request. Now on this side, it seems to be just fine. See? So isn't that weird? This side, it's just fine. This side, not so well. So I don't know what the deal with that is. I don't like having the silver at the bottom of the feet right here. It makes me a little bit scared, but I really love the huskiness of the proportions of these figures. They look really good, especially like having all that sculpted in nicely in there. They look really solid, and I like that we have ports on the back, so you can put an import stand right in there. I was looking at the back of Ratchet, and I got the same issue. This panel works out okay, but this one pops off on me super easy. Look at that. Just clicks away so i think uh, there's something defective over here on just the right side of the mold but starting from the bottom looking all the way up we get the same panel lines and all that throughout on the figure it looks really good i love how these came out i just don't like this what the hell is that supposed to be these are supposed to be crosses and i don't get it and man for real unless you're talking swastikas like i don't think there's many symbols out there that should be banned from being put on toys right just the swastika really Aside from that, is there anything else that I'm missing here? Look at this head sculpt, man. It looks glorious. I love that silver paint. Again, the eyes, just like the iron hide, just look really clean. And you get the crest right over here. Great looking head sculpts on both of the figures. And I love the build of them. They just look really cool. And then on the back, you can see I have the guns stored right over here and you get the same Kulo port. I also wanted to mention that I don't like the gappage right over here. I wish they had some kind of panel to cover that, but... Eh. 
it's not the worst. Now, I feel like the articulation on these figures are pretty solid too. The heads will move up that much and move down a little bit. So there is a little bit of room for the chin to dig into the chest. I like that. Uh, oh, I guess this moves forward a little bit due to transformation to help with that. Uh, no real butterfly joints due to transformation. You can move up and all the way out over here, but you don't really need that. You have a real shoulder joint over here that moves outward. You could rotate a full 360. Uh, you get your bicep swivel. You have a 90 degree bend at the elbow and then the wrist turns side to side. You have a waist cut here. Uh, no faux ab crunch. You have this crotch panel that moves up and out of the way. You can move the hips outward and you can get them to kick forward and all the way back. Mid thigh cut, single jointed knee that meets at 90 degrees. Really good ankle articulation. You can move them down and we get beautiful ankle pivot and you can extend a little bit over here too if that helps out so moving it up and down like that is pretty good too but then you could fold it right back in now to measure out these two figures you can see that they are standing just a little under six inches tall almost six inches and then here's ironhide and ratchet next to the optimus prime and cliff jumper figures and th this actually scales nicely i think I, I like it and of course i had to compare this ironhide next to the frecky custom war for cybertron trilogy ironhide and oh man i really love these figures both but this is almost the same height, right? They both look good side by side. Which one do you prefer? And then here's our 86 Ratchet figure next to the Studio Series Transformers Bumblebee movie Ratchet. And again, oh man, I love this movie adaptation. Then here's Ironhide and Ratchet next to a couple of G1s. We have Ironhide and Ratchet with the head upgrades. And I just flipped the arms around right over there. Then here's Ironhide and Ratchet next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Yeah, can we all just agree that guy over there has a... <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I will have more Transformers reviews. We're going to do some uh, DC Multiverse stuff next. And we've got some Marvel Legends to look at. Some backlog Marvel Legends that we want to take a look at. And a whole bunch of other goodies. So make sure you stick around. And these two figures are a lot of fun. I really like them a lot. Very poseable, very chunky, really good transformation. I didn't really talk about the transformation a whole bunch, but I found it to be very smooth for both of the figures. I didn't have to use the directions, uh, except for that tab that kept on wanting to pop out on their left leg, which is so weird. I don't know. I mean, I assume it's like that for everybody's figure. So, you know, uh, these things are not perfect. Yeah, they, they do have their issues but I think they're pretty cool. They're just a bit expensive though. I think they run like 35 bucks, man. It was just kind of a lot, but Transformers have gotten a bit more expensive lately and that is frustrating. So it just depends on how much you really like these characters more than anything else. Cause there's a bunch of different versions of them out there as you saw in the video. So anyway, I really liked them a lot. And for that price point of around 30, 35 bucks each, I'm gonna give Ironhide a sud rating of, I love it. And I give Ratchet a sud rating of, it's not so bad. And I had to give them different ratings because of those cross symbols on the shoulders. That, I, I just don't like the Autobot logo like that. I don't know why they couldn't keep what they had before. Uh, I prefer the more accurate, you know, way it looked in the movie, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you follow me on social media over on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and all whatnot, and I will catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't. Shot, 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 shot,